Hey, thanks for clicking the link. I'm Matt. I'm Kathy. And this is Outdoors for a Change, and we're going for a weekend getaway. Really, it's the Labor Day weekend, and we're going a little early. It's Thursday night, but we got a great couple of nights in store for you. And we're going to go, and we're going to have a lot of fun. We're going to a cottage right on the lake. We're going to record the whole thing, well, most of it at least. We're glad you're here because this van's hot, and we got all the air turned off, so it wouldn't be too loud for you. But since you're here, we can get started, turn the air on, and... Uh, Get this adventure started. Well, we're here. No camping for us. I prefer camping. Good driving. I like Kathy likes to drive and I like to YouTube while I'm somewhere on the road. A little safer for her to drive and me to be in the passenger seat while I'm doing cameras. Well, here's where we're staying. How, how I, I don't think I've ever showed you guys how I transport these kayaks back and forth everywhere. Unfortunately, this van doesn't have a tow package, and if we put one on, it'll void our warranty on it, and we're not ready to do that. So here we go. I see it. So we are uh, really careful that I don't scratch up Kathy's new van because I put a lot of effort into making sure that I don't. happened day one. First time I put the kayak up, I did it. I've learned. That's really sturdy.
And that's how he does it. That's how he does it. Well, just a can of baked beans, like bush beans, off brand. He's the first one in the blue bag. Put him in. Don't you try escaping out there, little. There. Oh, another lucky contestant to a catch and cook video.
Not the target species. Uh oh, sorry dude. Oh, I hate it when they do that. Not big enough to keep either. Healthy looking fish though. Hey, they're deep out here. They're on the bottom out here. Good one. You eat. That's a nice skill. Put him in the bag. Kathy's got herself a situation over here. She caught a turtle. You know, we can keep those. I wanted one too. We don't have a setup for it though. What you got, Kathy? A turtle. Look at this. He's huge, right on the bottom. What a monster. Wow. Oh man, the bite is really sporadic out here. But one thing's for sure is there's big ones on the bottom. They're still right down there on the bottom. Come on, don't fend me. Oh, they're thick too. Giant. It'll eat. Yes, it will. It's slow out there, but those big bluegill, I'll get those out in a minute. I'll show them to you what I caught, but they're really nice. So it's worthwhile to fish out there, but the bite was slow. I had to take a shower. I got all monkey and wormy and all that. You know, when you're fishing with worms, it gets nasty. Oh, yeah. That's gonna be awesome. Do you guys put ketchup on your beans here? Believe it. Don't really have to taste test beans. I know these are going to be good. <laughs> are you cold? I'm kind of cold. Let's make a fire. All right, let's check the fish out. Let's see where we're at. We're not ready to cook any of them yet, but I'm gonna clean these up. I don't like to let fish go overnight. Do you? We're gonna have to catch way more than those to have a fish fry, but that's a start.
Wow, that hurt. I fell right down there. Oh, Ooh, my leg hurts. I was just trying to put the camera out there to get some B-roll. Look at my leg. Good morning. I need some coffee. The Humpty Dumpty took a fall. I'm gonna see if some uh, King's horses and uh, coffee can put the Humpty Dumpty back together again. Boy, that was a shock. All right. Well, cool thing about Airbnbs, sometimes you get a Keurig. Man, I fell on a lot this year. One thing's for certain, if you get off the couch, quit being a couch potato like I did in the last, well, two years ago. This year, I've had the most active summer I've had since I was a kid. We went camping, I don't know, maybe a dozen times. We went to a bunch of Airbnbs. We've done it all. But I've fallen down twice this year. Once I fell into a lake, I didn't have the camera that time. Uh, just a big belly smack from up on a raised shore. Uh, that was uh, about a month and a half ago. Uh, so I've had some falls. Uh, one thing's for certain is when you get off the couch and start trying to live a life in, uh, in the outdoors, you're gonna fall down. But you gotta be okay with it and not get discouraged when you fall down. Just pick yourself up and uh, dress your wounds and keep going because the only alternative to not falling down is to never go outside. And if you never go outside or never do anything, well, you're going to live a miserable existence. And I know that because I lived it for a couple decades. I'm done living that life. I'm going to be out and about, and I'm going to get out in the outdoors, and I'm going to have a good time. I don't care how many times I fall down. I don't know. I hear breakfast really sizzling now. What do you say we get dressed, old lady, and we go out and check out some uh, local sites? Who are you talking, old lady, old man? I'm older. <laughs> yes. Barely. Just, I just look younger. We're in Battle Creek, Michigan, and we haven't been here for a really long time. And even though it's only an hour from our home, it's just in a direction we hardly ever come. So there's cool things to do here. We think you're going to like it. Uh, we're going to, well, we'll surprise you when we get there. We're at the Binder Park Zoo in Battle Creek. This place is pretty cool. We're not here with the kids, so we're making pretty good time here, but it's pretty cool here. 
you catch yourself in Battle Creek, come check the place out. These are the kind of bears you gotta fight to the death if they attack you. They say if it's a black bear, just fight them. I don't know. Oh, the captured bald eagle. <laughs> what trip to the zoo is complete without a train ride? This place is pretty cool. We're getting some steps at least. You having fun? thing about that zoo is that uh, you gotta walk out of the way too. 7,000 steps baby! That means when I get back from the alligator, whoops, I gave away where we're going. We're gonna go look at some alligators at some alligator rescue place because uh, everybody knows that Battle Creek, Michigan is the home for alligator rescue. Well, we made it here to the alligator sanctuary. I forget the name of it. I'll show the sign when we leave. This is pretty cool. We can't feed them. We can't feed these alligators here, but we're gonna feed some alligators in a little bit. Right now, we're just checking these out. These dudes are on a diet. They, we can't eat the, feed them anything special. That's a big alligator. I wonder if I can get a... Yeah, see this dude. But they're all divided by size, so this is what we call our elementary school. And then as you continue the walking path to the left, they'll get smaller. Sorry dude, I made that one bite the other one trying to get to it. <laughs> 
and somebody else got it. Those are very thick. I'll leave a bunch of them. Big guy got it. Yeah. That's it, homies. I guess we'll be seeing you again with more biscuits, so. Oh, alligator Sanctuary place was pretty cool. I forgot the name of it again. But if you want to help them and donate to their cause, and what they do is they take in and give sanctuary to all the knucklehead pet owners here in Michigan that get alligators. And when the alligators get too big, there's two choices. One is to euthanize them, and that would be a bummer. It's not their fault they had knucklehead for pet owners. Or this sanctuary takes them in. And yeah, it costs money to get in because it's paying to feed the alligators. And also, you can feed the alligators. That was really cool. Uh, we plan on coming back again with our kids and uh, spending a lot of money there because those alligators, well, they look pretty big and they look like they need a lot of food. So they look healthy. They're getting well taken care of. Here's the organization's name if you want to help them out. Oh yeah. What is it? Ooh. Bass. Oh, he put me into the weeds. I only got four pound under. Come on. Come over here. I only got four pound braid on this. Come on. Come on. Come on. Not a bluegill, uh, but definitely, I think, 14 inches. Let's see. Gilly. Looks too shabby. There we go. Oh, a keeper sunfish. That's what I'm looking for finally. Target species. 
I like catching the target species. I don't like getting stabbed though. Yeah, man. Yeah. That's the problem with uh, pan fish, top water pan fishing, is uh, you also catch bass. Sometimes little ones. Oh, it got dark fast out there. I forget how dark it gets when the sun goes down in September. It's like in the middle of the summer, and sometimes when the sun goes down, you still have a twilight that lasts for a long time. I was caught on another half hour fishing out there, but I lost it. That was a lot of fun. Kathy, did you have fun? Yes. My legs are still tired from yesterday. Mine too. Of course, my legs sore too where I fell down. That started the day off wonderful. But it ended up well. We had a good time. Uh, we're not done with this video yet. You're wondering why is there so much time left in the video and they're done fishing and they're done with the trip? Because it's time for a fish fry. And that's just what we're going to do in three, two, one, all right, we're in mom's kitchen, so it's time to get some fish fry going on. Uh, we got something special going on, really special, with this french fries. Well, they're potatoes, and we're batter dipping them. We're going to beer batter dipping them. We'll see how well they turn out. It kind of looks like peanut butter. <laughs> I don't know. We'll see how it turns out. We won't, we won't dip them all in. But we're going to get the potatoes going, then we're going to do the fish. Because uh, a catch and cook is a better video than just a fishing video, right? So let's cook some fish. Uh, I'd like to have a moment of silence for this little guy right here. He was supposed to be bait and I forgot about him. I harvested him, I'll eat him. He's probably going to be a little tasty guy. Alright, let's try the fish first. This guy is good. Good. You got some fries. Batter. No. Okay. Some fries. Oh, let me get it for you. Or what? No. You. Get it. Both of you. Beer battered, uh, it was uh, Guinness Extra Stout with the beer and it was, uh, the, the batter was called beer batter. Really good. But let's try the french fry now. See all that stuff they drink in there. Oh, mm, that's good. Okay. Try it. Yeah, different. Dinner time!
Thanks for watching. That's all we have time for this video. If you got any entertainment from it whatsoever, could you do us a favor and hit the like button? It would really help our young channel out. And if you hit the subscribe button too, that would put us over the top. We might even get to 200 subs real soon. So thanks for watching and we'll see you next video.